What's up, everybody? It's Mike, the tour guide. You can kind of ignore what I'm doing in the background. <laughs> it's um, I'm in my survival world, and I figure I'd go ahead and get a couple words down for everyone to hear and listen to. Uh, so if you want, you can just close your eyes and let my, my voice serenade your eardrums. But anywho, um, I, I've been checking out a lot of the videos and reading a lot about the game that's going to be coming out on August the 9th, uh, No Man's Sky. And the reason I bring that up in the context of Minecraft uh, is because it's it's procedurally generated, um, a lot like Minecraft is, and the seeds with, in Minecraft, um, you know, how the world develops around you, uh, except with No Man's Sky, there's like 88 billion planets, and a lot of them will never be discovered. It's Go to the website, the link's in the description. Uh, so, I, I'm basically... You know, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, as I watch these videos and I saw, like, what the game itself looks like and what it does, I'm like, on. You know, from an exploration standpoint, like a seed exploration standpoint, um, comparing Minecraft to No Man's Sky, I mean, No Man's Sky is going to make Minecraft look like a, like, like a board game. I mean, I'm just being honest. I, you know, I love Minecraft, but... It it made me start to think about you know what what is Minecraft gonna do moving into the future you know what's what's Mojang and Microsoft and 4J's you know vision for the game and you know I guess we've we've kind of become accustomed to the I want to say small updates throughout the year to fix bugs and to add things like mini games. And then, you know, on the console version, we get like our yearly, like big update right around Christmas time. Uh, last year it was T31 where the, all the new biomes and everything came into play. And this next year it's going to be the, uh, I guess the combat update where we can hold a torch and kill somebody with our other hand all at the same time. So, I mean, when when does that not become sufficient? I mean, right now, Microsoft, uh, Minecraft, I mean, it's it. There really aren't any games on console, at least, that are enough like Minecraft where a Minecraft player would say, well, man, I'm not playing Minecraft anymore. And No Man's Sky is not going to fill that void. Um, it, it will from an exploration standpoint, I think. It'll beat Minecraft by a, a pretty wide margin. But not from a creative standpoint. You can't create things in No Man's Sky. Well, you can create things. You know, add to your guns or your, your spaceship or whatever. But you can't build a base. You can't, you know, you can't create like you do in Minecraft. But there's a guy or a girl or a group of guys and girls right now sitting in front of their computers programming and coding a game that is like Minecraft. But they're they're not coding in in creating a game that is like this Minecraft. They're they're trying to create something that's better and bolder than this Minecraft. So, does Mojang and Microsoft and 4J say, hmm, let's wait for other people to create what they're creating and then we'll adapt? Or, should they say, we're not waiting for anybody. You know, we, we own this market we're going to up the game on our terms and and we're going to build Minecraft 2. I know it's horrible to say. People get angry when other people say it. I don't really give a rip. But create the next Minecraft that that brings everything into the future. I mean FIFA, Madden, name a game. Either you know whether it's a yearly uh a yearly release or a bi-yearly release 
uh, you know, they change engines. They, they, they move into the future every year, every two years, making it a little bolder, a little bolder. And they, they move forward at a different trajectory. Whereas Minecraft, it seems, it, it stays with the same trajectory, a nice, slow, steady climb upwards. But, but at some point, there's going to be a game that takes that trajectory and has it implode. I mean, there, there really will be a game one day that people are going to start playing instead of Minecraft. I mean, there are so many things that they could do. Uh, you know, just tighten everything up the way it looks. I don't mind the blocks. That's not really what I'm saying. But make little small changes. Like, can I get a vertical frickin' half slab? I mean, can I please make a wall that looks like a wall and not like this huge, gigantic block structure? Like I said, I don't mind the big blocks, but can I get a vertical half slab? Can I get some triangles? I mean, I know, I get it. It's built on squares. That's how it's. That's how the game works. But mm, I'm sorry, you can you can make some changes like that. You know, can we can we make some changes where you actually have to think and consider where you're going to build your base? Not in terms of location, but the actual location. Like if you're building next to a swamp or a large body of water. And it rains for seven straight Minecraft days, your house might be in jeopardy. Like when it snows, literally the snow accumulates and builds up to where if you're in your house, it's it's like you're waking up in Fargo after a blizzard and you have to dig out of your front door. I mean, there's there's just so many different aspects of the game that they they need to evolve and they need to change. And I, I really I don't know a lot about the the programming and and all of that. I mean, I'll be the first person to admit it. But when when do they use what they have accomplished so far, but up the game to like levels that are just more amazing than anything we could have imagined? I don't know. Maybe they're planning that right now. And it's like hush hush and really no one knows about it but the group of people working on it. I, maybe. I don't know. But it seems like with the rollout of Realms on consoles, they're pretty much sticking with what they got. There's, there's nothing major in the works that's going to alter and change things in a, in a, a positive way moving forward. I don't know. I mean, look, people are going to see No Man's Sky and from a world generating, procedurally generated world, exploring. I mean, put it this way. If No Man's Sky in an update two years from now added um, structure building, Minecraft is in more trouble than I think it's in right now. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Tell me your thoughts. I mean, moving into the future, does Minecraft need to be... I'm not, you know, I'm not saying every two years have a new version. I don't, I don't, I think that's overkill. I think Minecraft is, is the type of game that you do need kind of a procedural update, upgrade type system that's more spread out than other games. But it's been on the market for how many years now? I mean, come on. Move forward a little, little differently. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know your thoughts. And if, I'm in, if, I'm, if you think I'm a jerk, if you think I'm an idiot, just, you know, you might have to explain. Just put jerk, idiot in the comment section. I'll take it for what it is. So let me know your thoughts. And I don't know. That's it.